Hello guys, welcome to Mobile Forex. Today we're going to be talking about top forex traders that we are risk or fraud. So we're going to start with Sandile Shazi. Last year, City Press reported that Shazi, a popular crypto trader, was a wanted man after Johannes big business person Allen Lindwaba laid a criminal charge against him for allegedly defrauding him of the 500,000 he had invested in shares in trading company. That is a lot of money, guys. Half a million. That is a lot, a lot of money. Lendwaba, along other investors, deposited large sums of money into shares company, Global Forex Institute, with the hope of reaping profits worth double their capital. City Press understands that Shazi has been slapped with a fresh case of fraud after another one on his alleged victims, Angel Mabena, opened a case against him at the Santon police station last year. Mabena accused flamboyant Shazi of defrauding him 200,000 rands. He was arrested last week and made his first appearance at one big magistrate court. As you can see here, Sandile Shazi, this is the second time being arrested and also this is the second case of him being reported to the police for what? For defrauding people. So, so all in total here guys, you can see that both of these people were defrauded of over half a million, which is around 700,000 rands to be exact. So going on number two, is Luis Junia Chakwani. National Prosecuting Authority Houteng spokesperson told Junia Chakwani has been charged with fraud, money laundering, and contravention of Banks Act. She said Soatani Junior, who was once featured in reality show Rich Kids, allegedly lured unsuspecting people to invest with undercover billionaires international. This case was initiated by a complaint of one person, other investors got wild of the complaint and also came forward. There are about 500 accounts and the estimated amount is 22 million rands. Shit guys, this is a lot, a lot of money. I thought Shazi was already for a big amount but this one guys, hey, this is a lot, a lot of money. She said undercover billionaires has been running since 2016 and last year and delay Maisela accused Chokwane Jr. in one of the newspapers of luring him to invest 300000 in the scheme, saying he promised him 25% of investment returns. So going on number three, which is cash flow, Francis Bose laid a charge of fraud against Nkobo at the Santon police station last month. This was confirmed by the police spokesperson Grandview Mayor, the complainant allegedly that he had a business deal with someone to do forex trading. He then opened an account with the person and got a PIN code that gave the person access to the account so that he can transfer the forex money into it. He gave the person 100000 to ensure he doesn't lose his deposit. Mayor said Nkobo, who recently launched his book, Cash flow naked, denied the allegations, and was later set free. So, so guys, as you can see here, these people were defrauded money in nearly the same way. They were told to invest either into the company or to put money into accounts so that the person can trade for these people. So, but after that, their money were gone and they were never to be seen again. And it is a lot, a lot of money. And in the first case of St. Leches, the second person who was defrauded actually is no longer talking to his family and other close relatives. And you can see that it can actually break your families apart. So guys, be careful out there. Take care of yourself. Don't invest with anyone who says he wants to trade for you, he wants to do this and that. It is very, very dangerous and also it's much better for you to do it on your own. So this is Mobile Forex. Bye for now.